All right, ready? Go for it. All right. So, one thing we're going to want to do is jack her up. That just sounded weird. So, we want to grab our jack. Jacked up, so in gear. Whoa, hello there, ma'am. Oh, shit, <laughs> camera works terrible. Got to work every start. Go ahead. Demonetized. <laughs> uh, we're not monetized yet, so we can say whatever the hell we want. Oh yeah. You can curse like a sailor if you want. So I'm just cleaning off the rods here. It's probably a good idea to do. You can pull these guys off. These are just protectors I put on there for the, the mounts. So we're gonna have to take some scotch bread to this. To, to what? To the base circus. Okay. I'll go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and file this. We'll get back to you guys. So I'm just putting a piston on the rod here. So a little mallet usually helps. And that's it. Um, assembly lube. Use this stuff religiously. It doesn't hurt anything when you do. It just burns off. So the first couple puffs of smoke comes out of tailpipe when you start to bike up. Alright, so I've got my base gasket, which just slips right over the piston, just like that. Just sits down like that. Sometimes it doesn't sit super flat. That's whatever. Once you get it tightened down, it'll be all good. Yeah. You got it? I think so. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pull the base gasket with it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm just wiping down inside there. You missed the spot back there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Make sure it's nice and clean. I'm still cleaning up this little bit of gasket left over here. I have to use scotch spray because it's aluminum. Don't want to damage anything. Yeah, you really shouldn't use anything but scotch bright on these um, aluminum parts. Uh, because you can cause damage to them. All right, we just finished cleaning it up. Let me move this so you guys can see. I'll let you do it. It's a better angle if you do it. All right. So this is our. So one of the things I use is a um, keeper down there. Uh, Co essentially. Um, that keeps you from dropping anything down inside the crank. Because if you drop anything in the crank, well now you're having to fish for it. Fishing for it isn't fun. So. We've already got one piston on. Um, we haven't put the uh, clips on. The... So, 
the next piston go on. One thing to note is there's an arrow on the top of these pistons. Arrow has to go to the front of the engine, which is the front wheel. So, key. Key, key, key. All right, so got the pin in, a lot of lube on it, and a little bit of hammering. Let's see here in a second. Line it up. Push her on in. That's it. So, now comes the fun part, putting these keepers in. So, I'm going to have you do one scatter. Oh, it's like, wait, while you're doing that, I'm actually going to install the other gasket too. Oh, yeah. which, okay, well, tell, tell me, which way goes down? Is it the the one that has the ridge side, let's focus on this thing, ridge side up or ridge side down? Whichever one fits. There's only one way that gasket goes. That's true. Well, not really. It can go both ways. You see? I meant which way does this does it How go? Do you, go two ways? you have a dolphin right here that it Yeah, but you can put over. it in. No no, this this little guy. Ah ha ha, I see. Over that dolphin, so yeah, you're right. Goes one way. You're right, you're right. I guess unless you put it on the front and rear cylinders. Yeah. Now you got me thinking. I was just trying to figure out which way it goes away because there's... No, you're right. You can... You could do two different... No. It has to go that way. Yeah, you're right. It goes the same way. Okay. Ignore what you just said. It only goes on one way. We're dumb. Or I'm dumb. Yeah, there's totally no other way for it to go on, I guess. Yep. Anyway. Now I'm looking at it going, is there another way for it to go yeah. on? <laughs> cool. Alright. Well, well okay, that's then. out of the way. Alright, go for it, Tyler. Oh, you're holding it. Alright, let's do it. So, you got your ring. You get your hole that you gotta go in. And then, so, this is a tricky, tricky sucker. Let's see, where's my screwdriver? Hold on. Oh, the small one? I put it back in the toolbox. My goodness. That's a good idea, by the way, people. Always put your tools back. So, what I do, I put my finger right in the middle of it. That way I know I'm not gonna lose that sucker. Because it would really suck to have that guy fly out on me. And then, you just kind of walk her in. We don't have to record this. It is. Hold on. So we just put the phone back in because he doesn't want the little keeper to fall in there. Nope. Hey. All right, take two on this. There we go, that's probably a good way to do it right there. Nope. Nope, get me the better screwdriver. Tyler's having issues. He's got to get the big boy a screwdriver out. Oh, it works better. Wish we get some more light in there. So, now I've got that in. Yep, there we are. So, cool. you, you just kind of walk it around. My, so, here you go. So you can see the difference in the two screwdrivers. The reason I was struggling with this was because that lip is just too small. You want it to be tapered like this guy um, to be able to get a good just slide in. Let's try this again. All right. You guys get the idea. There's so many innuendos here though. Some days I find myself saying it under my breath, just like, that's what she said. <laughs> my boss every now and then will hear me and he's like, What'd you say? And I'm like, ah, No, don't worry about it. <laughs> he's like, Are You sure? I'm like, Yep. <laughs> you got them big jugs. Alright. So, now, pull this sugar. 
All right, so what's she doing there, Tyler? He's about to hone the cylinder. I'm about to hone the cylinder. Um, in reality, all we're doing is cross hatching, so we're not actually honing. Um, Can you tell him how to hit me, man. So you gotta put lots of lube in there, though. You don't ever want to cross hatch dry. That's just a bad, bad moment waiting to happen. Yeah, my shoe. All over your shoe. <laughs> kind of looks like something whenever I get home. The reason I need a bucket and a mop. Oh my. <laughs> just saying. Just putting it out there. Oh yeah. Just putting it out there. Yep. You, you know how to treat them. Damn it, Scott, shut up. <laughs> trying you, to do work here, man. You're going to do it sideways, I see. Oh yeah, you want to you want to go as straight as possible. So Only about 10 seconds. That's all I do. So, I don't know if y'all can see too well, but we've got a nice cross hatching going. Can, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. No, not really. What about the flash? Maybe flash. No, here, point it towards the light. That looks better. There you guys go, yeah. Yeah, so that, that scratching, shall you say, on there is actually just cross hatching. So none of that is deep enough to cause any problems. What's what that is doing is it's taking away the married edge that were on the original rings to be able to set new rings in there. Okay. Go always for it. check the gasket surface, make sure it's good. Yeah, that's a little fucked up, but that should be just fine. It's exciting. <laughs> Probably take air to that. A lot of different kinds. Um, That's a ring compression tool, by the way. It didn't record when he said that. Uh -oh. So ring, <laughs> yeah, ring compression tool. Um, and uh, so yes, it looks a little weird. You may be used to this kind here. Oh, uh, you may be used to this kind where it's completely flat and all that fun stuff. Um, these kinds are great for big, long stroker motors. In other words, uh, car motors. For these Harleys, it's a little hard. I mean, you can see the amount of play I have and that doesn't even clear the piston. So, um, not to mention, these guys usually don't come all the way apart, so you can't get them out because you're putting the piston, the, you're not putting the piston on and then so, yeah. So what I do is I have it marked already for this size motor. So I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down. That way I don't get any any nastiness on the motor. All right. And what I like to do is I like to start with the rear cylinder just because you usually disassemble with the front first and then reassemble with the rear. And so, where are those other pistons? What do you mean the other pistons? With the rings? Yeah. I'm to close five. Hmm? I'm telling close here. Um, Saturdays it's two. Oh, so they're close then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, technically. But. Not even perfect. 
come on, man. Sometimes you gotta fight with these guys. For life. Some people put the cylinder, the pistons inside the jugs before they install them. Um, I don't usually because this way I know that I'm not going to undo it on accident. <laughs> I said it. Alright, you want to hear me a... Not that joke. This joke. Do you know which one's the rear on that? Huh? Or did you mark it? Yeah, I marked it. So usually... Let me go look for...